Hey, thanks for making this Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Are you ready? That should be the question. And look, I'm not sure if this is just going to be a one branch thing, but right now it is starting off that way. Here's the headline. Air Force seeks retirees to come back to active duty. Service offers up to four years on active duty for returning pilots, security forces, and others. So let's jump into it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it. Uh, and look, here's here's my question: is 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 this a, a, a I guess a snapshot of what the future is going to hold? I mean, think about it. We're having extremely difficult recruiting times, and um, now they're looking to knock on those that uh, have already served uh, uh, on on their doors to try to get them to come back. Uh, what's the next stage after this? Voluntold. Um, so it's a it's a bit of a slippery slope, and um, I I don't know. Maybe this is just a softball thing, but let's let's go through it and figure it out. See if we can read between the lines anywhere. But I do find this fascinating. All right. So uh, the two asks are really look. If you can if you can hit that thumbs up and you can watch the video, that's what gets this message on. All right. Moving on. <clears throat> Here we go. It starts off, and this is from the. Air Force Times, so obviously a targeted audience. Uh, regret retiring? Question mark. Here's your shot at a second chance in the Air Force. The service announced Wednesday that it will reopen a recall program to fill as many as 1,000 mid-career commission and enlisted jobs, including pilots, combat safety uh, or combat systems officers, recruiters, air traffic controllers, and more. Very interesting. The move comes as the Air Force looks to plug critical staffing holes, recruiting shortfalls, uh, facing renewed tension in the Middle East and uh, possibility of conflict with China. Wonderful. The application window for the voluntary retiree or for the voluntary retired return to service program opens Thursday. Um, the Air Force said in a release, applicants or applications must be submitted by January 31st, 2026. So it looks like a two-year window to serve on active duty for no more than 48 months. Those selected can expect to return to uniform between four and six months after they apply. The VRR. AD program is a strategic enabler to embrace experienced talent tapping into a valuable resource of retired members to fill critical roles to close the gap against our peer competitors. Lieutenant General Caroline Miller, uh, the services uh, uniform personnel chief, said in a release. The program is limited to commission officers, commissioned officers who held the rank of captain through lieutenant colonel, as well as former enlisted staff sergeants through senior master sergeants, retirees who served in the medical, legal, and chaplain corps, known as non-line officers, are ineligible to return. While anyone who is eligible may apply, regardless of the job they had while in uniform, the Air Force is focusing on bringing back a range of commissioned roles from pilots and combat system officers to cyber specialists, contracting officers, and more. The service also wants to staff up its enlisted corps in fields like recruiting, air traffic control, security forces, healthcare, and others. A briefing about the program circulated on social media Tuesday added that airmen who return under the VRRAD program are ineligible for aviation bonuses and will only deploy unless they volunteer or are assigned to a combat unit. They must also meet performance standards including physical fitness requirements and could also be subject to a permanent change of station. They are ineligible to extend their service or to sign up for the Skill Bridge Job Transition Program. Uh, retirement benefits will cease, obviously, the day before a retiree activates, and I would throw in uh, VA as well. Uh, formerly enlisted personnel must not be medically retired or have retired in the face of administrative or adverse actions, including pending court martials, 
be under the age of 60 years old and able to receive a security clearance meeting requirements of the position. Commissioned officers must meet similar requirements and must not have been retired because of a select uh, because of selective early retirement. Pilots seeking re-entry must have been certified on an Air Force aircraft within the last decade. Master Sergeant uh, Deanna Heitzman of and uh, Air Force spokesperson said. So the Air Force uh, last reported active duty jobs to former airmen from 2017 to 2021. In 2017, an executive order issued by the uh, then President, uh, President Donald Trump, sought to bring back as many as 1,000 pilots as the service struggled to uh, compete with commercial airlines. The program was expanded in 2018 during a 2,000 pilot shortfall. In 2019, Air Force Times found that the program had received only 125 applicants, 50 of whom were pilots. Uh, Inviting retired airmen back into the fray is another level the Air Force has opted to pull to rebalance its workforce as recruitment slows and operational demands continue to rise. The service has also offered a slew of incentives to keep the current force in uniform, from retention bonuses to uh, to increasing flexibility. So with that, that uh, concludes this one. But I am really curious to kind of see where we're going with regard to recruitment and being this all-volunteer force uh, with a nation that's involved in many different aspects throughout the world. Uh, it's obvious that we are spreading ourselves a bit thin, um, if just looking at all of our uh, uh, bases. So one of the things would be, you know, are we looking at potential uh, more more BRACs, right? So the base uh, uh, realignment and closure. Are we looking at base realignments and closures? Um, are we looking to keep bases open and continue to try to recruit but fall short? Are we looking at uh, programs like this, allowing uh, retirees or, uh, yeah, I guess retirees to come back into the fold? Are they going to start marketing veterans, uh, marketing to veterans, trying to bring them back into the fold a little uh, more, uh, um, a little more effort in that arena? Or uh, are we looking at a potential of uh, a, a draft on our hands again? Um, you know, that's, uh, you know, I wasn't around. Then, so I mean, I don't really, I don't really know. I, I, I'm, I'm turning 50 this year, so, you know, I don't know what it looks like leading up to it. But um, the, the, the supply and demand don't seem to be in line, if you know what I mean. And if, uh, if the, the powers that be want, want us everywhere, um, then they need to create more of us. And how do they do that, right? So, love to get your thoughts on it. Please throw your your thoughts in the in the comments for us all to read. I really appreciate it. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.